Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. As always, we'll try not to make any slips in the commentary, but there might be some slips out on the pitch, Alan, in these wet conditions. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it's going to stop during the course of the match, so I don't think it's going to affect the game in any way in terms of calling it off, but it might get very wet for the players. Newcastle United's lineup. So, Alan, 4-4-2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape. It's the one that the manager prefers. Paris Saint-Germain. This is their lineup. Neto starts in goal. Kyriakos Papadopoulos plays with Kurt Zuma in central defence. Eric Lamella starts with Robert Snodgrass on the flanks. Now, it's good to see them going with two strikers today. Now Bertrand Traore. And that's been judged by the officials as offside look clear enough Baines Newcastle United knowing that nothing less than the top performance is going to give them a chance of winning this one Robert Snodgrass Baselli it goes out wide again going wide again but not getting the, uh, the player out on the touchline into the match. Riyad Budabuz. Golovin. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. He's got his shot off now. That is a supreme save at full stretch chance for Newcastle they've got a corner he's put in the corner well the play is broken down now cleared away well away from goal good play from the Paris players to threaten the opposition now stopped emphatically and just as well the approach play looked very encouraging Baines. Traore. Andre Silva. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Daniel Didavi. Put in from the wide area. Hernandez Abel Hernandez guiding it through the defenders Hernandez giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing they'll need to try and get the ball back now Riyad Budabuz it is extraordinary in this city centre stadium and maybe because of it where it's like a goldfish bowl to play here in Newcastle they haven't won anything domestically since 1955. No, it is incredible. I mean, this place dominates the skyline in Newcastle, and they turn up in their thousands every other week. They're just crying out for a football team that can compete for silverware. Now Bertrand Traore. Good defending. Hernandez. Eric Lamella. Daniele Baselli. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. This is excellent from Paris Saint-Germain. Offside. The officials clearly in agreement. And that's a straightforward offside decision. He's just dropped back in, the striker there, to get the ball in midfield. Attacking now. Shots on here. Goalkeeper hangs on. He's on the move all the time and makes lots of these interceptions. It's good work between these two. 
There's some potential in this move. Good position for the cross. Promising build-up until that challenge. Daniele Baselli. He's coming forward with some danger. Saw the goal and went for it. It was a real opportunity, but there might be a key moment in there from a defensive point of view. Yeah, well, they really did converge on him quickly. He didn't miss by much, but he's missed it. Play back. Slip through. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Comes in with a tackle. Daniel Di Davi. We've got two added minutes. Andre Silva. Traore. This with a chance to go into the lead now. It's hit the post and gone in. Well, you're too young to remember, Alan, but they used to have square goalposts and a lot more came out than went in in those days. So for the attackers, that's a, a bonus of the change in the technology and in off the post. Yeah, and I think he deserved that, though, because uh, struck it well and right into the corner. So Newcastle United have the lead. Well, that's half-time at... Newcastle United with the second half now to deal with. They played well in the first half. Traore. Coming on strong and looking to play their way through now. Andre Silva. And here's the shot. Gone for placement. Got his bearings wrong. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Yeah, and what a good time to score that was. Uh, Put his side in the lead. Kurt Zuma. Abel Hernandez. That could be the advantage rule applied to Paris Saint-Germain. Good forward play from them. Can really get at the opposition here. The shot's on! And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. Fine save. And a corner given by the referee. Needs to be quick. A return ball. Come away with the ball cleanly. Great tackle. There's been plenty of warming up going on, and now I think one of the substitutes will be brought into the game. Hernandez. Now Gibbs. Baselli. Referee quite happy for Paris Saint-Germain to play on. He's waving them on. Stopped emphatically and just as well. The approach play looks very encouraging. Bertrand Traore. Could be dangerous. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. A low ball into the box. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. And here, it's the goalkeeper's ball. They spread it out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. Andre Silva. And it's a shot now! 
He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact, the power, but accuracy just off. Well, it might be a good idea just to get a fresh player on and cement their position as they look to hold on to this lead. Abel Hernandez. Trying a bit too hard, trying to force the pass, and it went... A real chance here! That's fine work from the goalkeeper against an opponent who certainly troubled him today. Well, his teammates should be thanking him because really the striker was favourite and I thought he was going to score. Papadopoulos. That's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Now here's a chance to get at the opposition. Baines. Baines. Needs to be very nippy. Shot on. Good work by the goalkeeper. And that will be a throw. Cunha. Baines. Letting the shot go. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. Simple save that for Neto. Baselli. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. It's looking good, this move. Can they hang on to this one-goal lead? The fans are trying to play their part in it happening. Yeah, and it's the approach that the home team take that will be important. Do you go on and push for another or just try and hold what you have? And that's uh, across the field to try and switch the play. Paris Saint-Germain smoothly through the gears here into an attacking position. And that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do today by any means. Daniel Di Davi. And the players face another two minutes added on by the referee. He's got some room out here in the wide position. Now Bertrand Traore. Here's a chance to whip it in. And the referee has now called a halt.